You might have heard a lot about dangerous sudo rm-rf command. In this video, I'm going to show you what exactly happens if you run sudo rm-rf root in your Linux distribution. Please do not try to replicate it. This is for educational purpose. In most distribution, when you try to run rm-rf on root this forward slash directly, it won't work. There is a fail safe feature prevent accidental deleting of the entire root directory. How come? Let's suppose that you want to delete something using its absolute path under root or anywhere. And instead of typing it correctly, you specify a space between root and the directory name. In normal condition, your root directory would have been deleted. But in this case, in most distribution, there is this failsafe feature. And it asks you to use the no preserve root. What if you actually do that? Use no preserve root. Please do not do this. This is in a virtual machine and I'm doing it for demonstration purpose only. And you can see that when I ran it, the lights literally went out. And then it throws errors after errors and stuff like that because it starts deleting files in the root directory and it also deletes stuff from the bin directory. So you don't have anything in the bin directory. That means you won't be able to run any commands now. And this is bad. And now you can see that all the graphical elements of the elementary OS that has been gone in this virtual machine. It's not that everything is deleted in root because after some point, most commands won't work. But this will destroy your system nonetheless. Let's say if I try to force shut down this virtual machine and then I try to log in again, power it on again, you will see that it won't boot anymore. And that's normal because you destroyed your system. So I destroyed a virtual machine to demonstrate RM-RF. Please do not destroy your system. This was just for informational purpose. I hope the next time someone tries to trick you in running sudo rm-rf for root, you will be more alert. Stay tuned for more videos.